Morning, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for uh, Thursday's trading session, the 8th of December 2016. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, let's look at the uh, day data points this morning. You have the FTSE more or less flat, the German DAX up 0.3%, the CAC up 0.15%, FTSE MIB up 0.6%, the rally continues and uh, the euro stocks as well more or less flat stroke up okay let's bring up the chart of the FTSE mid because it's all about italy 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 and uh, the rally in the banking sector certainly is uh, forcing markets higher as you can see here italian banks up again taking out the key resistance zone you have resistance up at 9560 now let's see how far this uh, rally continues certainly has been um, an epic rally and an impressive rally as well at that let's bring up the FTSE mid as well folks Okay, so the FTSE MIB now into resistance, as you can see here on the daily chart. So certainly looking at some turbulence here, going into Mr. Draghi's uh, uh, potential statement. Now we've had, <clears throat> let's just bring up the economic data for this morning, really overnight. You have Chinese data coming out slightly on the uh, stronger side. Uh, Aussie trade balance data certainly on the negative side. Exports uh, weaker as well. Imports slightly stronger. In terms of the, and that's due obviously due to the stronger currency purchasing more. Uh, the <clears throat> Chinese exports data actually came in much better than expected. Uh, number of negative five came in plus 5.9 percent. Trade balance came in slightly weaker. Uh, imports certainly much stronger than expected, and that explains one of the reasons. Uh, does explain the actual rally in European equities, given the uh, increase in export imports from China. So again, more demand for European products. Uh, and not given the fact that we've had uh, the PMIs and the GDP data coming in stronger as well. Non-farm payrolls from um, <clears throat> France coming in at 0.3%. And now we await the uh, ECB deposit rate decision at half past, uh, well, 12.45 in, in 90 minutes time, more or less. And we'll see exactly what Mr. Draghi has to uh, has to uh, show. Okay, so the markets certainly have been short squeezing high and rallying high on the back of Mr. Draghi. Okay. Uh, and now it's really the the, the uh, show and tell day. Now let's see exactly what he has up his sleeve, uh, and the reason why these equities are short squeezing higher. We have the German DAX, as you can see here on the weekly chart, breaking through the uh, in the actual uh, ten thousand. But once it broke through ten thousand eight hundred, it was non-stop for the German DAX. I mean, it's just a, a non-stop ride. Now we do have resistance here in this zone at uh, the um, ten nine nine ninety zone. Uh, we did actually push as high as 11.050 overnight, and we'll see whether or not we can sustain that uh, actual rally, folks. Okay, let's bring up the um, the French CAC. Okay, the French CAC itself is lagging today. Uh, the daily chart you clearly see here we have multiple resistance level resistance at 4710 and then the next resistance is at 4750 so two zones of resistance especially after closing those gaps we have an unfilled gap left behind so again vulnerable if mr draghi fails to uh, deliver his extension in qe or obviously enact further qe and provide that stimulus that everybody is uh, is searching for okay in terms of the uh, french cac on the 10 minute chart certainly is uh, from my my perspective anyway overextended and certainly is vulnerable to a, a potential break lower you have the unfilled gap at 4630 so don't be surprised if that closes okay that's all i can say for now in terms of the volatility index you can see this volatility index or fear index in europe has been absolutely butchered folks okay it's non-stop move down just very similar to the uh, the vix in the us okay we are now stabilizing potentially okay if we can actually build a base here on the vix okay certainly is a chance of uh, the vix moving higher now political uncertainty post-referendum in italy is certainly ignored the political uncertainty in france especially with uh, mr holland no longer continuing and obviously the uh, the actual radicals and extremists such as marine le pen gaining power etc etc and she already stated yesterday that she'll go for the uh, Frexit, so she'll go for the uh, referendum to leave the eurozone, and and the market's certainly totally not uh, totally ignoring that altogether. We have the euro now at one point zero seven ninety. Again, don't care. Markets are totally ignoring it altogether. So certainly a, a sense of uh, massive complacency in the market, huge complacency in the market, and that's generally when you get the actual reversals. Okay, uh, and that generally is the case with regards to European equities and US equities at, at, at that as well. Now the FTSE 100, as you know, on the weekly chart we have the HNS formation, so buying certainly remains bearish there. Daily chart, you are into horizontal resistance at the six seven six nine ten. Okay, we did actually hit an overnight high of 6940 at one point. Okay, we have actually reversed now. So holding that resistance on the daily chart. 60 minute chart from my perspective certainly remains <coughs> overextended. 
Okay, so you're looking for an opportunity here to short this index or short short this, especially given the fact that oil prices certainly remain weak and subdued. Okay, no continuation there in the actual potential rally. So again, if we do reach this uh, double top at 6920, certainly an opportunity to short for me. Certainly looking for a flush lower. We do have the unfilled gap below at 6780. FTSE certainly remains vulnerable to being closed. Okay. Uh, the euro stocks, let's just bring up the euro stocks, give you an insight there as well. Um, let's bear that in mind that the FTSE, or the, the, uh, the actual sterling trade, sterling is currently trading approaching 1.27, again, therefore, it's considered to be bearish. Okay, now the uh, euro stocks is holding that key resistance at 3.156, certainly is holding that. You're putting in a doji candle here, so certainly looking for a reversal, a uh, weakness, okay. Uh, unfortunately, no volume on this at present. Okay, so daily chart certainly is into resistance. 60 minute chart certainly putting in a topping tail. Okay, again, fear about Draghi, whether or not he will unleash this QE, <clears throat> etc. Now, you do have an unfilled gap below. Okay, so all eyes on that gap from my perspective certainly will be targeting that at 3,100. Okay, so again, all eyes on that gap. 10 minute chart as well certainly is showing signs of weakness. If we do flush, then you have support at 3120 and then obviously gap fill at 3100 so over to draghi let's see what what the uh, what mr draghi's hand is and let's see exactly how the market reacts okay that certainly is the situation at present okay so on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of the bonus goodbye now